Hey, big bro, what's your name? AJ. AJ, I'm at the L, man. It's good to meet you. All right. Well, we going over. If you just jump in, we going over the history of the blacks, Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans as it relates to the Bible. Right? Those people on that list are actually the Israelites of the Bible. Those we're the descendants of the people that Moses freed out of Egypt. We're the people that Moses freed out of Egypt, and we just went over that by the curses. Right? Give me verse uh, 49. Right? Listen to this, Abdullah. Right? Am I saying that right, Abdullah? Right? You was Muslim before? Okay, I'm going to give you something on that too, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. Now, it's going to make sense in a second, right? But what's the symbol of America? You wear it on your uniform. Bring it out. What's that? Eagle, right? Read that again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Now real quick, right? Before we got on these boats, did we know English? Before we got, oh, before the conquistadors came over there and the Portuguese came over here, did we know Portuguese or Spanish, right? And they're all represented by the eagle. All of them, right? Read. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old nor show favor to the young. So now, I want you to really imagine it now, right? I want, I want you to get a, a, a visual that's, that might hurt, right? You have a young child, right? They don't give a dang, right? During this, they don't care. They said they're they not going to care if you're young or you old, right? They're going to be fierce to both of them. For example, a lot of people don't understand this is what happens to black children, right? They will use this gator bait, right? Not black old men, black babies, you understand? When y'all was, we was put on these ships because Incas don't understand that they was also put on ships in 1492, right? right? And they were sold on the same auction blocks. Look right here, as the black man and woman. You understand? Right, so when we on this ship, right, we wasn't just sleeping, right? We was, we had to go to the bathroom. When we went to the bathroom, did they let us out? Did they be like, oh, pee over the side? Did they do that? No, you peed on each other. When a woman had to menstruate, where was it going? When she gave birth, where was it going? When you died, what happened? You stayed there. So imagine being chained for weeks or months next to somebody that's dead. Right? Then, when you get out, you get separated from your children, and your children goes off to God knows who, where, who, God knows where, and gets fed to an alligator. That's what God said. God said, I'm not serious about that, about you keeping my commandments. Or else, you're going to be sent on ships into your slavery. Right? And now when we go, when we see that we were sent off to slavery and ships, it wasn't that we just had a boat ride. This was terror. This was agony. This was terror and ag this was disgusting. You understand? Then after that, we were sold, split off, given our master's name, and today they expect us to act normal. They say, hey, if you're not celebrating, celebrating Christmas, that we taught you during this time, that we did this to you, that we did this to you, right, then you're weird. How come you don't celebrate Christmas? Well, because during Christmas you killed my forefathers and raped my mothers. Right? right? Well, the eagle came here, taught us a whole new language, erased our history, and they expect us to behave like proper slaves. Right? They expect you to abide by the UCMJ. Right? The UCMJ is a, a set of commandments and structures that you have to follow when you're in uniform. Or when you're out of uniform, correct? Right? You have to abide by that. What happens if you don't abide by that? Article 15, 92, whatever it may be. You will get all of that. To, even some of them are punishable by death. Right? In wartime, typically, right? God is saying, I ain't no different. I gave you commandments. I gave your forefathers commandments that you still must abide by. And if you don't do it, expect this to happen. Expect this to continue. This is why we can go on TV and we're not seeing the Chinese man, the Indian man, right, being beaten down by police. We're not seeing them killed on a weekly basis. We're not seeing them stuffed into ghettos and favelas and barrios. We're not seeing that. We're not seeing the, ex the medical experimentation on those children, right? But on our people all day, everywhere, no matter where you at. Right? All that's a curse. Right? Continue reading that, verse 49. Verse 51. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed. For example, when the man that's represented by the eagle, when he pull up, he's saying, all oh, this mine. So if you had cattle, if you had land, if you had agriculture, it's not yours no more. Right? Read on. Which also 
shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, right. or the increase of the of thy kind, right. or flocks of thy sheep, right. until he have destroyed thee. So he said, I'm not going to leave you nothing till I know you completely annihilated. Now here today, we got a black man owning a house and saying he free. If you're free, what's, your, what's the name of your people? If you're free, I challenge you to do your own holidays. If you're free, I challenge you to keep the commandments of God, and we're going to see how free you are. Right. right? But our people won't do that because they're not free. Right? And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Give me verse 48. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies. Serve who? Serve thy enemies. Enemies. That's what the Bible is saying. We have to just apply it to reality, right? This also goes into us not being free, right? He do this all the time. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. So remember, real quick, remember what I said, no one will love you enough to tell you that, right? We in Hawaii, the land of Aloha, right? Is He says that we're interrupting his business, but aren't we abiding by our rights? Aren't we abiding? I thought we were allowed to do this, right? The police ain't coming to bothering us. He ain't saying, do you got a permit? Right? We on the public on public law spacing here, right? But he's saying, you know what? I'm gonna violate violate ordinance code to make sure you brothers don't teach who you need to teach. You understand? Nobody does that to the Christian church. Nobody does that to the LGBTQRS. Nobody does that to those women that are saying, I wanna abort my children. Nobody is doing that. That's why this is important. You're getting a front row view of that right now. Right now. And look at his face. He don't give a damn. Right? The young or the old. He don't care. He wants y'all to be slaves. That's what he wants. He's not saying it out of his mouth, but listen to his actions. Every nation on earth knows who we are. Right? Give me that. Finish what you're reading. Finish what you're reading. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst. So for your food and for your water, the black man, the Inca man, can he sustain his people by his own means with food? If every nation on earth said, I'm not going to give you blacks, no Hispanics, no food, no water anymore, what are we going to do? Can we roll up into McDonald's and be like, are they going to be like, no, you're black. Can we go to the Walmart, food land, anywhere and just be like, hey, I would like to buy groceries. They say, no, you're black. What are we going to do? Huh? And to, in order to hunt, you have to have a license. Now listen good, right? Listen good, right, Read. And in nakedness, and in for your clothing, you got to go to the enemy for everything, Read. And in want of all things, like a hunting license. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he's going to put a, a chain around your neck. He goes examples of it. He goes examples of it, right, Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Until you're a proper slave. You know how, like, if you have a dog that's disobedient, you keep it on the leash, you keep it on the chain until it's trained. Then you can let him go. That's what happened to us. That's what happened. Now, they let the chain off, and we're not going nowhere. We're not going to buck up. We're not going to bite. We're not going to scratch. We're not going to train change from any of the training that they gave us. That's what happened to us, right? And everybody on earth knows it. That's why even the Hawaiian man can come up to us and, and just do this. You understand? Where's our rights? I thought everything's supposed to be fair. Remember that? Right? We're desiring to keep it fair for everybody else, but nobody else gives a damn. Nobody. Right? Nobody gives a damn. Right? That's the, that's the important thing. Right? How do we know that we're, we're, we're destroyed? Because for our food, our water, our clothing, and anything else that we want, we have to rely on a nation that was sent against us. Right. Give me Psalms 83. You got a question? It's important, right? A lot of brothers take this information and don't go nowhere with it, right? But let me tell you something. If you know, if you know now, you marked. The Lord is saying, I, I, I reached out to you. I reached out to you. But if you don't want to take it, that's fine. But do your research. You got the flyer? Do your research. We got a school in Pearl City, right? The brothers is here. You see where we at? We see we out here. We got family just like you, so we understand. And you see what it looks like, right? So all it is is to discourage you from getting this word. Right? Our agreement was raised in blood. Right? By sacrifice. 
You understand? All God said, you're my people, and you're going to do what I say to do. If you don't, I'm going to send enemies against you. And we just went through those things. We're living those curses today, right? So what should we do now? If, we, if this happened to us for breaking God's commandments and going against the covenant, what should we do now? Say that again. We should follow the covenant. That's what we should be doing right now, right? This, listen, it's, it's all for example, right? Why would he do this, right? Because they hate us. Matter of fact, real quick, yeah, give, uh, give me Psalms 83 real quick. Psalms 83 real quick, then we're going to get to this law, right? Read what you got. Psalm chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. So we asking God, God, don't be quiet. Don't sit in the background. Please, God. That's what we ask you, right? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. So we're saying they that hate you, right? They that hate you have lifted up their head. They got their nose in the air. They got their nose in the air and they confident. They confident, bro. They say we can do whatever we want. That's what the enemies of God has said, right? That's why he can do whatever he wants. That's why he feel that way, right? Read verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden one. It's saying these people have gotten together and counseled together against God's hidden ones. You know who God's hidden ones are? These people. These people up here, the children of Israel, you, your forefathers, your family, right? They have all come together and, cons and consulted together. Listen to what they consulted about, AJ. Listen. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They said, let's cut them off from being a nation so that they don't even remember their name. But they remember to be an American. Come pull up here, bro. They, this is, so they don't remember their name. They don't remember their covenant, and they don't remember their customs, right? But instead, we're going to be listening to this guy, and we're going to be doing everything that he say, everything that Joe Biden say, everything that the Christian church say. But what God say, we're not going to do it. Because anytime we try to do it, the other nations that have count counseled against us come up to disrupt that, right? We don't listen to good to what they say, Rick. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They what? They are confederate against read, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites and Moab and the Hagarines. Those are all other nations. Everyone else that's not on that sign that does not have a covenant with God is in agreement with our slavery. Is in agreement with the fact that we don't know who we are. Every single one of them. But they rely on teaching you over and over and over again about democracy, about fairness, about unity, right? That's what they took. But it says they are in unison to come against you, right? Now, we talked about the covenant. Give me uh, give me the beard, right? Let me show you. You in the military at all? Let me show you something that you got to do every morning that's against the laws of God. And you do it as a custom because that's what we was trained to do via slavery, right? To go against our customs. Listen good. Don't be distracted. This is even more important because you, you see it happening before you, right? Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. God said under my covenant, I don't want my people shaving their hair bald or shaving off their beard. Did you know that? Nah, right? You ever been to the church? But they got all kind of shaved face people in there. But we reading that out the Bible, right? It's saying my people are going to look different from everybody else. They're going to have their hair. They're going to have their beards on. Right? And for us to shave our beards off was a shame. Because once we got off them ships, that's exactly what they did to us. Right? Our forefathers, if you look on there, right? Open it up in here. The inside. Right? Our forefathers kept the commandments. And the white man and all the other nations know that. And there's evidence. We've been to this one. We've seen that. It has the commandments in ancient Hebrew on it. Right? That's in New Mexico. Right? Where the natives, the so-called Native Americans were. Right? Where they were, and there's pyramids all throughout the Americas. Where did the pyramids come from? Egypt, right? Who was building up these places in Egypt? The slaves, the Hebrew slaves that Moses had to free out of Egypt. Here goes the evidence. The evidence is all around us, but we have to believe it. We have to come back to God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.